A few days ago, I made a video joking about how Google removed the view image button from their image search feature, which was an obviously counterintuitive move, but it is a little bit more nuanced and complicated than the 30 second joke video leads on. Who would have thought, right? So the deal is that as with, as with anything on the internet, when you click on an image, you expect that image to be blown up, opened in a new browser, a new tab, whatever it is. This is just very intuitive functionality that's been around since the days of Netscape fucking Navigator, right? It's just, it's just something that we very much expect of the internet. But, very recently, people have been learning that that's bad. If you host an image on your site, you don't want people just ripping the image. You want people to come to your site. Like, that's why you've made a website. You want traffic. But Google was sort of getting around this by letting people download images straight from their interface. So now, by removing the view image button and replacing it with the visit site option, um, and adding that same functionality to not only uh, left clicking, but also middle clicking, right clicking, hit open in a new tab. It just, it just all goes to their website. Now this is not a hard barrier to overcome. Right click, view image, done. There you go. I mean, if, if you're watching this video, then you're probably unaffected by this. If, if you're the type of person who who's intrigued at the idea of a video discussing policy and 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 interface changes of a search engine then <laughs> welcome to the club nerd we all know easy workarounds but this this isn't about us this isn't about you and me this is about the other 90% of people in the world who just just kind of use the internet the way they know how to get by in their daily lives i actually before i was making the video the the making fun of this feature removal, I was telling my therapist that I had a really funny idea for a video, because I have a fucking therapist, and that's what I do, apparently, and she was like, you know what, I actually noticed that, I was on Google, and I, I tried to view the image, and I was like, what, why can't I do this, what's happening, that's, that is most people, that is most people in the world, now all of these most people in the world, they'll click on an image, wanting that image, and then they get redirected to the site, and fucking god forbid they accidentally see an image hosted by Pinterest, because then they need to sign up for an account, hopefully they're not logged into someone else's account, they need to actually fucking search, like, hunt down the picture in the fucking, the, the, the maze of pictures that's on the site, or, or, or fucking YouTube, if they, if they go to YouTube, fucking god help them, because an image will say it's hosted by YouTube, and you click on it and go to the site, and guess what, it's not fucking there, because that image was the thumbnail, and there's actually no place to download it on the site itself. So it's it's a very fucking bass backwards feature. You're supposed to be clicking on the site to view the image, but if the site just doesn't show you the image, then, then why the fuck are you there? You you just you'll just stop using the service that lets you do that. And and these 90% of people, they will go to a service that actually does what they want when they want it. So this is a massive inconvenience to casual users, to most users. And instead of just learning a new, a new skill, <laughs> like like what we think is obvious, me and you, uh, realistically, they'll probably just stop using Google Image Search, and then someone else will say, hey, I just use fucking Bing. It, it does it, it does the same thing. Then they'll just start using that. They're just they're removing a, a very key feature of the service. So why did they do this? Why the fuck would they do something that's so bad for the end user? It is because of stock image sites. More specifically, one stock image site, Getty Images. They were in, in, engraved in this whole legal battle. So um, it used to be years ago that when you did a search on Google, an image for, say, Getty Images would pop up, and you'd get the option to download the full resolution image that was hosted on their site. The problem is, on their site, you couldn't see the full resolution image because that's what they were trying to sell you. They're trying to get people to buy full resolution images, so they only wanted the preview. So they said, you know what, we'll, we just, we'll just stop showing up in Google searches because that's how we're losing all of this potential money from people getting these images that we're selling for lots of money for free. So basically, Google was offering other people's work, other creative content producers, photographers. I'm a creative content producer. I, I, I would hate the idea of someone selling or offering my work for free when I'm I'm, I'm, I'm trying to profit. I have to. Otherwise, I can't do it. It wouldn't... I, if, if I suddenly stopped making all profits from doing this, then I wouldn't be doing it in a year, no matter how much I loved it, because there's just not enough fucking time in the day. It's the same thing with photographers selling stock images. Like, they, they should be allowed to make money off of it, and what Google was doing was it was preventing them from making money off of it. The problem is, I don't know what the fuck happened to the stock image... Uh, 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 world online, but like they're selling photos for four hundred dollars, four hundred fucking dollars, 
Like, are you kidding me? A picture of a of a of a goddamn sunset. I mean, it's 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 not even that hard to get for free. For you, you could. It, you, you, you just download another picture of a sunset, or they, or if I really liked this one, and I know that it wasn't gonna be, like, the prime focus of what I was doing, maybe it was, like, a background, and I was gonna throw a fucking, uh, a warthog from Halo, and a, a goddamn pelican in the set, I, I, I don't know, basically, it's not the main focus, I'm not paying 400 fucking dollars on it, but I really like the picture, it's not that hard to use an entry level of Photoshop, and just get rid of the watermark, and still use it as a thumbnail, and since it's just one small-time YouTuber getting one small-time image, then I'm probably never going to get sued over it. If they sold it for five bucks, I may have fucking bought it. But if they sell it for four hundred fucking dollars, four hundred fucking dollars for a picture on the internet, then no one's gonna be fucking buying this. Anyways, after some legal quibbling, uh, Getty and Google came to an agreement that, first of all, if you left click on an image, it should just redirect to the site, and they should have the view image button removed entirely, and you can just only go to the site. It's a massive inconvenience to most users in most cases, but despite what randoms on the internet are saying about Getty Images not having a case if this, you know, progressed legally, uh, Google probably didn't think they would win if they went to court over it. After all, Google is basically offering other people's products for free. It's kind of like if, if Google went around to every single business in America and somehow tapped into their water supply and then started offering people free water out front of the store, most people wouldn't care because the, the, the pennies that they're spending is a huge public service to the rest of the world. And, and, and for in some cases, the added foot traffic is actually beneficial to the business, but in a small minority of cases, that added foot traffic, you know, causes congestion and sure they're spending, you know, actually a decent amount of money on water because they're in a busy area. Basically, the business isn't getting much out of it. Google is still benefiting from all the people who use Google because of it. And a very small percentage of people very much suffer because, let's say, they, they sell water. If you're offering water to someone that says what, then, then people aren't going to buy it. It's the same thing. They're offering free images from companies that sell images. And because of that, everyone else on the internet has to suffer because of the agreement that they made. So the case, when presented like that, kind of makes Google seem like the dick. And, and I feel like if it went to court, they were afraid of that. So I feel like by striking this agreement, they actually may have done the internet at large a, a really big favor because even though they're doing something that is counter to the end user experience they actually haven't set a legal precedent for the fact that you know offering other people's images for free is not totally illegal who knows maybe it could have gone down that way in the darkest fucking timeline and if that was the case every other search engine would have to follow suit and then there would no longer be an easy way to, 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 to be getting images like this that being said uh, I think that Getty has the wrong fucking idea. They're looking at all these people downloading images. They're like, oh my god, oh, oh my god, a thousand people downloaded this picture of a sunset, a thousand times four hundred. We could have made like, we could have made like a thousand dollars there. <laughs> like, they're, they're looking at that. They don't realize that you don't go to Google Images when you want to spend four hundred fucking dollars on a picture. If, if, if you're looking for legal artwork to hang in the lobby of your office or whatever, you don't go to Google fucking Images and print it out. You go to the individual websites and that's where you're buying prints for $400. They're really not missing out on that much money from small-time YouTubers. They're thinking, oh, this thumbnail used our picture? He should have bought that for $400. No, he would have just used someone else's picture for free. That's what you're fucking missing out on. So instead of making a legal precedent that literally sets the entire modern world back like 10 years, maybe you should worry about your own fucking business model.